Byron. Daughter made it too. And her Volkswagen. But yeah, we just got Simon pretty much unloaded here. We're headed up to check. We get checked in, registration, and I think I said there's two, two, two points up there. I don't know exactly what. It's my first time doing Six Summer, but yeah, made it to Six Summer 2024. And I don't know about the kid, but I'm tired. Woke up at 4 a.m., five hour drive. <laughs> and actually, nice leaving that early because the traffic wasn't that bad, but I'm understanding we got 300 competitors and another 200 sick ward. Sick ward is where they just do the drive, they don't do the racing. And yeah, I guess there's a line up there, so I better get going. Uh, tight fit but perfect fit day zero which was registration at tech was a success uh, they had us go through a DOT um, tech which was basically making sure turn signals and horn and brake lights all work and then of course the I think it was the NHRAA uh, tech which was for the racetrack and all that got me my sticker Unfortunately, my windshield's too small, so I was unable to put the uh, sponsors part of the sticker on there. So, sorry, Motion Raceworks. But yeah, we are in pits. This will be day one. We're in Byron, Illinois. So, today's goal is to make it down the racetrack and then at least once and then uh, hit uh, the checkpoints, which will be Rock Falls, I believe. And yeah, I don't know if you guys can see right up there on top of the hill the old mullet, Cletus McFarland. I just challenged him to a grudge race and he accepted. I doubt that's gonna happen. <laughs> Did you guys test it all yesterday or not? No, we didn't. No? We tested the other day, so at home. Went a 660, so we put it on the trailer. <laughs> good idea. <laughs> Hopefully it's good for here. I heard the track's pretty good, so. How's the shutdown? You ever, ever race this one? I'm leading the brakes right now in preparation for the short shutdown. It is a short shutdown? Yep. Here are day one. Traveling buddy here is Prescott Phillips. He's also got an oval window. Tell me what year it is. Well, it's registered as a 56, but there's bits and pieces of everything. The front half's a 53 and it's on a 62 pan. So <laughs> it's, it's a hodgepodge of stuff. But the important part is an oval window and a rag down. That's awesome. That is awesome. Now I see that you're a rule breaker because uh, a lot of people that if you get on the internet are always talking about you must run your engine seals. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's hard to do when you got the uh, engine raised up. You know, it's got a one inch raise on everything, which uh, nothing fits. And uh, that's just, this is the rule breaking. You know, I love that super flows on the on the street. Oh, can't do that. Can't do that either. <laughs> and uh, how many times have you done this drag and drive stuff? This will be number five. Number five. That's yeah, you've I completed have completed every single one. Yep, completed every single one. I've driven over 4,000 miles. That's on, awesome. On drag and drive stuff. That is awesome. Some of them are longer and some of them are shorter. So this is uh, 
this one, I don't know. It's, this is probably the shortest one I'll be on, but um, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, and it's, well, he, this isn't the only motor that's been in this car or transmission, so you do wear out parts, but. Cool. Yeah. If you guys haven't known, this, he is my hero. <laughs> I shouldn't be anybody's hero. <laughs> uh, I do have fun. If you're looking, I do have fun. If you like to have fun, yeah. All right. I, mean, that's, I get that. Uh, where can everybody find you on social media? Uh, we're on we're on a lot of things. I have my own podcast. That's uh, Brew City Bug Talk. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, uh, Prescott Phillips, or or uh, Underdog Racing, Prospect Hill Performance. That's about it. All right. Well, thanks for your time. Yeah, peace out. Good luck. Hey, everybody, this is the other guy I'm traveling with. This is Chuck the Air Fryer. <laughs> what year is your bug, Chuck? 62. How long have you had it? A long time. A long time. I think it's like 96-ish. All right. So, I am bad at math. Yeah, a lot, you know, coming up on a lot of years. <laughs> for as long as I've had mine. And a lot of iterations. It's been several things, so. And he is kind of a former, um, what, how do I want to say that, a rival? It's, it's Corn Panzer. I'm a DDK guy, Die Dutch and Kamraden. And, well, I think they probably got the faster group. What time's your run? Run 1180s. And you guys all know I've been trying to run 11 1180s for 25 years. With a turbo. <laughs> With the turbo. I Maybe always today. Like, I always like throwing that in, yeah. Street car. Right. <laughs> Uh, how many times have you done these dragon drives? This will be the third. The third? Yep. How many times have you completed? I've completed one. The right. first one we had uh, engine failure on the road. How far were you from home? We're in a, we're in a five. Three or four miles. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. And we blew up an engine oh, yeah. I got you know, no, in I got testing it. phase this year. So. Yeah, you and I had bad, bad year of testing. Yeah. Prescott lost transmission, so. Yeah. Hopefully, that was, hopefully that's all out of the system for this week. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Eng engine blown up, rocker screw broke at the racetrack, rocker stud broke on a extended test drive, rotor failed on a test drive, and now we're here. Now we're here. Awesome. Got any plans or uh, expectations or what I'm saying? My yep. I goals. What's my your goals, goals for today? Or week? Finish <laughs> and 5.11s. 5.11s yeah. and 8? Yeah. All right. <laughs> we wanna, I want to turn in an 11 second time slip all five days. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. 11 second time slip all five days. Yep. I just want to run an 11 sometime this week. All right. Well, good luck, Chuck. Yeah. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah.
Now we roll into checkpoint one here on day one. It was only checkpoint. I believe it was Rock Falls. They had a block party set up for us, and I think I've talked about this a couple of times. But we got here at two. <laughs> you can see there's a lot of people here at two. But then everything didn't really kick off until like five o'clock. And yeah, they had a area for burnouts and people <laughs> they roasted their tires we didn't get to see it um and they had food trucks but yeah we didn't get to see it we just kind of uh got our pictures and kind of looked around we did talk to a few people there's always people interested in the bugs um check the oil and then uh I yeah, basically got back in the car and headed for a hotel, get some dinner and a good night's sleep because day two was going to be a little bit longer and a little bit more eventful. <laughs> so I got a laptop, did a little tuning, and then we wound up having a beautiful drive over to Rockford or Rock Falls. Say that Rock Falls for the block party. Got a that was a checkpoint. Nice travel through windy roads, and then we'll, um, after that we just basically headed for the hotel. 44 miles on the expressway. Car ran great. So yeah, wish me luck here on day two. All right, here I'm standing with a Mike Goody, another longtime friend. Uh, probably known each other for 20 some years. I think over 20 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Cal form, right? That's right. That's yeah. how we met. Yeah. yeah. I see you still have a sticker on your car, which I'm very <laughs> jealous of. Yeah, they're looking rough, but I, I don't have a hard to peel exists, them off. Though. Still exists, exactly. <laughs> well, tell us about your Super Beetle. Okay, so this is a, it's a 73 Super Beetle. It was actually my brother's um, high school and college car, and um, I bought it from him for a dollar, and he came out ahead for sure. This car was a very very bad condition. I know a lot of people laugh at Super Beetles, but I am a glutton for punishment, so I decided to go all out and, and restore this car. So I replaced, or I had replaced rather, about the lower six to eight inches of it, heater channels, 
uh, lower quarters, uh, turn floors, yeah. It was in pretty bad shape. Pretty bad shape. What do you got for an engine in it? So it's got a 1914 with dual uh, Weber 44 IDF carbs. Um, it's got a Benko transmission. Uh, it's got air conditioning. Oh, air conditioning, nice. It's got air conditioning, yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's actually a 1955 Volkswagen color called Iceland Green. It's got a lot of uh, really hard to find dealer accessories. The wheels are called turtlebacks. They were sold by the dealer when new. Uh, the front seats are 1973 sports bug seats. Uh, the interior was redone in Porsche Pasha. And it's also got a, a Volkswagen dealer accessory Formula V um, rear speaker, uh, the um, shifter and the steering wheel, and a few other odds and ends are dealer installed accessories from, nice, from the nice. time. Yeah. Somebody was asking yesterday if, they, if that was a factory color or not. It was, but a different year. <laughs> awesome. this, this car was originally blue, but um, we, we, I want to go with an earlier color. There was a BW I saw in Hoppy W's. It was a 1955 that was done in this color and I just fell in love with it. Nice, so, nice. So, since, college car so how long have you you guys owned it how long has been a my brother bought this car in 1995 my mom wanted my brother to get a bug because she knew i knew how to keep him on the road and she thought it would be a very inexpensive way for him to get into it and in fact this car when we got it um it was supposed to be turned into a trike the guy that i bought from was the guy that lived in evanston illinois that converted them into trikes okay. so we paid 250 bucks for it it didn't make it all the way home uh, but we had the engine we built in it and uh, it got him through he had it for like 15 years as an everyday car oh street, nice street nice. park in chicago you know summer winter and all that he did was leave the engine alone he never touched it so i got the car it was pretty rough great that's way to nice saving the bug <laughs> i was determined man I, you know it's funny i tried to sell it for like 600 bucks years ago and nobody bought it so i'm like i guess we're, we're diving into it nice so slowly started collecting parts and after nine years finally got it done all right uh, now I should point out that Mike is actually doing sit ward right now. He's just doing the driving. He's not doing the racing. And how's that going? I'm having a lot of fun, but I'll tell you, I have a 67 back in Arizona with a 2332. I want to go racing with you guys next year. All right. so it's, it's having a lot. We're having a lot of fun. It doing is. it with my son, which is great too. Yeah, yeah. I, I loved yeah. yesterday winding through the, the woods and Beautiful. the river and everything. The big load. I don't know what do we have. Four bugs and then. A couple of GTIs and then yeah. grab it. <laughs> I think it's it's great seeing you you know you oh, and your daughter uh, running and, and talking to his son running. It's great. What's that? That's a tow rig. How do you pronounce that? That's a that's a Honda. So I don't know oh, it's not a Honda. Oh, that's not even a Honda. Like, no. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's Sean. <laughs> oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Mike. Hey, thanks, yeah. London and Emily. All right, Chuck. Tell us about day one. Day one was great, except there's always waiting, right? So we're used to the waiting. <laughs> yep, yep. But uh, Prescott and I both ran our personal bests in our cars. We, we had a great time on the track. We tried both the and except for the rotor, which melted itself. But it was an easy fix. So yes, and, yeah, I know. I think we're worst it was things so could have happened. So fast, we didn't get a chance to film the fix. <laughs> it was quick diagnosis and quick repair. Yeah. Fuel, yeah, we got fuel. Spark, no spark. Let's find out why we don't have spark. Ooh, I've seen this happen before. The theory is that the MSD ones are made out of more of a bakelite material, and these are just a cheap plastic, and it gets hot in there, and it just got hot and distorted itself. The uh, MSD ones are riveted on. Uh, this this piece is riveted on. Oh, that's just like a sacred in plastic, isn't it? So I'm not gonna buy AC Delco rotors anymore. Well, I guess smooth sailing here. All right, what's this one? One eleven fifty three and a hundred and fifteen and a half. Awesome. And non turbo. <laughs> non turbo. What's it? I don't know. Did we cover the engine size? 2387, 10.9 to 1 compression, FK89 cam. And you kept right up with me on the highway yesterday for 45 minutes. Uh, <laughs> it cruised us down the road. The oil temperature never got up to 180. That's awesome. You put together a fine machine. Thank you. It's uh, you know, a little tweak here and a little tweak there over the years. Yeah. And a lot of convincing that it can actually work. So. And it does. It does. I, I was kind of surprised you got rid of your old combination. The tried and true combination and tried everything new. Just and it paid off. It did. It did. And, and you can remember when we were doing this 20 years ago, 
that if you were going to run in the mid 11, you couldn't even drive back to the pits. Yeah. You had to have a four wheeler to tow you back from the end of the track because all the street cars couldn't do that. And I, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't know. Is it to technology or better, better parts, better heads, better know how? Yeah. I don't know what. I don't know what that is. So, at least run a number. The way I look at it is, we wait around all day for fun. Okay, so I'm winning because I had 13 seconds of fun. He only had 11. You, you got more. You got more for your money. I did. It's kind of like golfing. And I, I didn't know what it was. I didn't think it left the line that great. But I did. I had a feeling as we were getting close to the finish line that it was on a good run because my shift light was on way before the finish line. Yeah, and so I knew I was doing some mile an hour. So we went 110, I think. I went 115. 115, yeah. I went, I went 110. You went 115. And last year I was running 106 to 110 miles an hour. So I was well up at mile an hour yesterday. And I just knew it was hard. Ratio four speed. Yeah. Yeah. It. Uh, I did the, all the maths, and it said I was turning a little over 8,100 RPM across okay. the finish line. Okay. Awesome. So, valve spring. Love that. <laughs> they were probably singing. Yeah. My engine hates me. <laughs> well, good job. Thank you. And uh, good luck today. Good luck to you too. Thank you. Yep. Um, go over yesterday, day one. Day one. Where are we? Uh, this is Cordova. Yesterday was Byron. Did you, did you do something spectacular yesterday? Yeah, yesterday we had a good time. We are at uh, Byron Dragway. Uh, we worked it out in the staging lane so I could cut in front of Chuck and race Chuck, which we always try to get um, uh, to run together, even if we don't end up in the staging lanes together. But we'll make it work. And they, uh, the track officials and everybody here is they want to see both Volkswagen's, or at least two Volkswagen's take off together, because it, it's cool. And it makes for good photo ops and all that. So nobody really had a problem. So I raced against Chuck, and we just so happened, it doesn't look like it on video, because my reaction time was so bad, it was way worse than even Chuck's bad one. But uh, we both set personal bests. He set a personal best in his car, and, and so did I. I ran 1224 at 106, and Chuck ran uh, 1153 at uh, 110. 115. 115. Yeah, you ran. I went 110. Yeah. I get them all mixed up. <laughs> so I, I, don't worry, I did too. <laughs> so we both. It, it, it's 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 the first time it's ever happened. I've been drag racing a long time. I mean, a long 30 years. Yeah, because I was asking you for advice on a pro tree because we're running a pro tree, not a sportsman's tree. As yeah, soon as you've seen oranges leave, That's just what I let did. the tree out and make sure you're there, right? Stage. As soon as you see oranges leave, you're never gonna red light. Uh, and it, and it's, it doesn't matter anyway. This is all, uh, it's just like uh, time trials, you know. Uh, reaction time doesn't mean anything, but uh, in the first time in my life, racing all over with all kinds of people, that that I set a personal best against somebody else that set their personal best. That is cool. That's the first time it's ever happened. It's, it's very cool. It's, it's, uh, it's just amazing. I was just, I, I didn't know what, how to feel. <laughs> I was just happy. And uh, people are like, why are you shaking? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I just went 106 miles an hour. You know, maybe that, you know, maybe I'm having a heart attack. I don't know. But uh, we had a good time yesterday and uh, we made it here to uh, Cordova for day two. And we'll try to do it all over again. Yeah, yeah. Well, that drive yesterday after we left the track was amazing. Yeah, some of them twisted turns. And, and I would like to thank you for slowing down for the railroad track. And oh, they us didn't afterwards. you see the sign? <laughs> no, the I sign didn't. said rough tracks. And when they put up a sign saying that the <laughs> tracks are rough, that means they're crazy rough. Yes, yeah, so they were. They don't put up a sign for nothing, right? And uh, I, I seen the car in front of me go, and I'm like, oh boy. And we just bounced. Uh, it was like going up and down curves. Yep. And uh, and I'm like, okay, everybody's going. I'm slowing the whole road. I was first in line. So, I so that, that worked out good. I, I'm paying attention as best I can. You know? <laughs> I can't, my car is so loud. 
I can't hear anything. No. I can't. I can't. We can't converse. It's all hand signals. And, and my my usual navigator, Glenn. We're all good with that. He shows me the phone. He says, "Turn here." And it's Chandra sitting on <laughs> Facebook. And, you know, and, and, and screwing around. And, and I'm like, "Hey, are we on? Or, uh, do I just keep going straight here or not?" She's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." yeah. So she's great, but. I'm not used to her yet, so we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, we're having a good time. We're every, I'm, I'm really glad everybody's still running. Um, that well, what they say, um, we started out with 318 and they lost 16 yesterday. Okay, that's yeah. not bad. No. That's not bad. Because this, this is my fifth Dragon Drive. And usually it's 50 people are gone the first day. Wow. You know, their, their stuff wasn't ready and it broke and they're done. You know? So we're, we're still above 300 cars. Yep. That's yeah. Well, He's not over with yet. Yeah, well, today, today, and this is a pretty good track, so this is going to wreck some cars. <laughs> so that's, uh, but everybody's, uh, it'll be fine. Awesome. Well, well good luck. Yeah, good uh, luck to you. Yeah, you, know, you need to improve. I'm trying. I, I made some corrections on the laptop. Uh, uh, yeah, well, uh, the good thing about that is there's only, there's only, you can only go fast. That's what I hope. <laughs> that's what I hope. A little, a little bit at each, each day. Yeah. Keep bringing her up. Yeah, for sure. If you have never hung out with this dude or talked talk to him, I uh, uh, highly encourage it. He is a purveyor of many subjects. Kale Reisinger in the 2014 Caprice Police Special and Jeff Stinkley in the 1980 model C10 pickup truck as we work our way into the D as a David category.
socket. Once again, my D is a David D group. I can turn it over. Oh, 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 oh. There's no disturbance. I just want to see if the box was your whole bag. All right. And uh, uh, he's coming back with the tools. Awesome. So forth. So I'm gonna send Adam Dory back out. Good see. Rachel says no. That's not the direction we want. 1335 and 102. Carpool later.
are in Iowa here at Tri-State Dragway. Yesterday was an eventful day. Um, we were in Cordova. I actually ran a little bit better than I did the day before with a 12.53. But what was fun was to drive to the checkpoints. Uh, Simon started hiccuping. I don't I don't know what that was all about. We uh, were driving through one town and they actually had this thing called the tire clean out. Or no, it's called the tire check. So yeah, we actually drove around the back of this building and there's people spraying water on the ground, cameras, video recorders, and a cop standing there with some um, flashings going. And surprisingly, as you pulled up there into the water box, the cop goes like this. So I just lay, laid into Simon, gave everybody the big show, and that's when he started uh, spitting, popping, and sputtering. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, we just kind of continued going. I got nervous because it was kind of hard to get up to speed sometimes, but he eventually stopped. Uh, he's still kind of doing it once in a while, so I'm not expecting a real good time today. I'm just going to go down the track and, and hope he behaves. So, so the other other two checkpoints was Motion Raceworks and then some Hot Rod Shop. And I think we put on 170 miles. That's what it said on the paper, 176. And that was to the checkpoints. That's not counting getting to the Airbnb we stayed at last night. So we did put some miles on, even though you're spitting his butter. Motion Raceworks was a really cool place to visit. They were doing renovations, um, and we were unable to really see the shop in, in its entirety. entirely. But we did get a free shirt. And the other hot rod shop, uh, I have to look the name up, put it up here, but it's a long time drag racer. And he put on a pretty big meet for everybody. They were uh, actually lining cars up so you get the picture, and then as you left, they actually had a burnout area. They just kept filling the parking lot up with more smoke and more smoke. Yes. Stay tuned. Do we get the honk horn? Sure. <laughs> uh, hot dog?
It's just buried. You want to crank it over for him while you watch? Watch. watch Why don't you watch? watch her start. Her start. While you watch. All right. How to crank? I'll just turn the key. That way, you probably know what you're looking for, and she probably doesn't. Ready. just died randomly but we figured it out somehow basically turned it on and off again but on the computer so walk him back to the staging lanes because he's gonna do another round to try and redeem himself hopefully he doesn't break it again I'm on the track and you shut me down. Checkpoint one, day three, the field of dreams. Yeah, Simon just wasn't running right. The next checkpoint was roughly 200 miles away and I didn't feel comfortable, you know, if Simon broke down on the side of the highway, leave him there for roughly four hours. I figured he'd be safe here in this parking lot and he was. Now, <laughs> time to start gearing up and plan my redemption for next year. <sighs> what an adventure. Yeah, we're back home. Simon's still in one piece and he seems to be running all okay. I've got some investigating to do. Man, I got to recap, sick summer 2024. It's, it's hard to take it all in. It's still going on actually, today is Friday. I came back early just because I dropped out on day three. I made it more than halfway. I made it to the first checkpoint after Tri-State. So it's five tracks total, I ran three of them <laughs> and I'm really bummed I didn't get a chance to run uh, Great Lakes Dragway but there's always next year <laughs> yes <laughs> this is addictive but I will tell you it is also exhausting at the same time I don't know how many times I told myself why are you doing this <laughs> this to turn around and say I can't wait to do it again <laughs> yeah it's not just exhausting physically but for me it was probably more mental I got a lot of things to figure out and one of them is I guess maybe how to keep Simon a little more cooler and a little more happier and I've got some ideas so if you follow along I'll show them to you just like always. <laughs> Big shout out to uh, 
friends of mine, um, Prescott and Chuck, both are hardcore. Oh yeah, Sean, if you're listening, thanks for being a lifesaver. <laughs> Sean actually was one that kind of rescued Emily and I when we left Simon at the Field of Dreams. He was generous enough to give us a ride all the way back down to Byron so I could pick up the tow vehicle and only to make the return trip all the way back. And I, it was over two hours and yeah, he wouldn't take any money for it. <laughs> what an upstanding guy. Um, Sean, yeah, thank you very much. But yeah, I now got my cool sticker. <laughs> and if you're wondering, um, you know, six summer 2024 was basically how they could tell who we were. But yeah, the D, 140k the 140 is the car number it's how they knew it was me the d was the uh the run we are run d and then k was the class we're in which was the beetle class but yeah it's done i can't wait to do it again <laughs> another shout out to uh bc bug talk i think it's what it is a uh, brew city bug talk it is a podcast so if you want to kind of get a recap of you know the whole event they put one out every night from day zero day one day two and i'm on day three <laughs> that's kind of uh, the first time i've been on a podcast <laughs> and i told those guys i'm more of a listener not a talker you guys may uh, <laughs> may disagree because i do a lot of talking on this video here but yeah get over there and check them out um i actually listened to all see did they have covered day four so it would have been all five of them on uh, Spotify. Um, they do have a YouTube channel as well. I'll try to link that stuff down below. And, and I believe they're on a couple other uh, podcasts, wherever you can find podcasts. should probably thank uh, a couple of my sponsors, especially Driven um, Racing Oils. Uh, they were there. Um, great to talk to Bill. Finally meet Bill in person. Uh, Snake Eater Performance. This injector seemed to work really well. And then, of course, uh, Empy. Thanks for uh, helping and supporting. And probably the biggest thanks and the best part of the whole trip was spending it with my daughter. My daughter Emily was my co-pilot. She did a great job when it came to doing the tire transfer. She jumped right in, figured out what we were doing and what needed to be done and handed me lug nuts and taking lug nuts and getting the proper lug nuts. Cause like I said, I have different ones for the front and the rear and then for racing. But yeah, the recap on the whole thing Probably what I'm going to take back from this, the biggest part, like I said, was spending it with my daughter, um, cruising, cruising down the road with, you know, three other bugs, because uh, Mike Goody was in sick ward, and then we had, uh, I think, three other uh, Volkswagens, or well, maybe one was a Honda, um, you know, some other sick ward friends of the Chuck and Prescott, well, not my friends, um, were cruising along too. I think at one time, we had picked up a beautiful beautiful uh, 21 window uh, turbocharged fuel injection bus that joined us on a couple of the, the cruises and I think that would put us up to about nine cars so we were caravanning in nine cars so yeah what can I <laughs> what can I take from that that was just great it was a wonderful experience going through the windy roads following Chuck and Prescott and looking at my rear mirror and seeing Mike Goody and and a couple of the other guys I think we had a, a Sean and a Sean and a Ryan so yeah Six summer is now over with. Now, it's a challenge. Challenge is accepted. Time to make things better and actually complete it next year. Until next time, keep cruising, keep shifting those gears, and always enjoy the ride. Let's go. Before I was just another guy 